Hello, welcome to Scott Plays and the uh, topic of the week for this week. So, last weekend I posted in the Scott Plays Facebook group asking component quality or gameplay, which is more important to you. And I got a couple of responses. Um, first was from Timo, um, who said, Gameplay, what use for good components if I don't use them? And except if you have minis for one of your fandoms, um, then you can keep them to display, especially if painted. And AJ said, definitely chip theory. Thank you for that, AJ. Um, that actually provides a nice segue onto my thoughts on the topic and why I posed the question in the first place. Um, there was a discussion on a different Facebook group um, uh, a few days before I posted this about um, the uh, I think it was Hopla Marcus somebody had posted about and I made a comment about how the um, and I, I, I worded my original post poorly I think I said that the chip theory games are um, overproduced and overpriced. Um, that use of the word overpriced was probably a mistake on my part. Um, expensive is a better word. Um, because for me, the most important thing in any game is how well it plays. Uh, I, Castles of Burgundy is a really good example of um, my thoughts on um, gameplay and component quality. Um, if anybody has played that game, you will know that the components are not of the highest quality, and you know a lot of people call for there to be a deluxe edition made or something with better um, component quality and I think if you watched my um, game overview video on that game uh, you will have seen that I call I well I would like to see that as well um, however the gameplay in Castles of Burgundy is fantastic and the components do not detract from that at all. But a company like Chip Theory, um, they take the position that component quality is more important, or maybe not more important than gameplay, but more they put more importance on component quality than I do. And I respect that, um, you know, that is a business decision and they are clearly positioning themselves in the market in a, at a particular point and they are looking to attract particular customers. Um, I just think it's a shame that although I haven't played any of their games, I have looked at them and they do appear to have really good gameplay. And so I think it's a shame that that gameplay is not accessible to more people, uh, more players, um, because their games are priced so highly. And I think they themselves would accept that their games are in some sense overproduced. There is no reason why they couldn't use uh, punch board tokens instead of poker chips for example um, and so yeah I I just I yeah I fully respect their business decision I think it's a shame that they don't produce and I and I I don't want people thinking that I um, am suggesting that they produce a second line of 
uh, games that are cheaper versions of their existing games I, that's not what I'm saying at all um, but I do think it's a shame that their games are so expensive because it shuts so many people out of playing them um, and yeah I think that's, that's pretty much all I really want to say on that subject um, I will be putting another uh, topic of, of the week up on the Scott Plays Facebook group and I would um, very much like it if uh, you could come over and join the, the group and uh, get involved in the conversation. Um, as usual, the link will be in the uh, video description. And yeah, I hope you come back and uh, watch more of my videos in the future. Thanks for watching.